Broken Heroes. There have been many broken heroes throughout the history of Overwatch. However, I believe that these particular heroes really truly define what a broken hero is in Overwatch. Now, there are so many heroes that could have made this list. However, I need to explain my criteria for this video on why these heroes will make this list and why some will not. The first criteria is that this character needed to be fundamentally a problem for almost every single rank. And the second criteria is that this character needed multiple patches to be fixed because one huge patch on their kit was just not enough to fix them. Without further ado, let's get into the first most broken hero in Overwatch's history. Mercy. Now most people probably saw this one coming, however, one thing I think a lot of people actually get wrong in the Overwatch community is they don't actually know when the most broken spot of Mercy was. When Valk was first introduced on September 19th, 2017, Mercy had nearly a 99% pick rate. There were multiple reasons on why Valkyrie when it was first released was so strong, but there was a couple main ones. Number one, it had instant res cast time. It reset on cast of your ultimate and went from a 30 second to 10 second cooldown on top of Valkyrie lasting 20 seconds. CarQ explains this perfectly on why these numbers were super strong. So in theory, you could res, pop Valk, res, res again in 10 seconds, and res one more time just as Valk runs out. So you could effectively res four times just north of 30 seconds. Mercy receiving balances and nerfs for the next nearly six years and being the most complained about character to this day really shows you how strong Valkyrie was on its release. And that is why I believe Mercy is the first true broken hero since the launch of Overwatch. Greg. Now, if we were solely going off of power levels out of all these characters, this would be the most broken by far. So what made Brig so OP, you might be asking? Well, on March 20th, 2018, Blizzard released this monster of a character who quite literally is known as the killer of Overwatch 1. To start out with her crazy numbers, Brigitte had 250 HP compared to her 200 she has today. Brigitte's shield bash also did 50 damage on launch compared to the 5 today. It also stunned for a second without the need of an ult. It had 1.5 times the area of effect that it does today, and it also could pass through barriers. Brigitte's whipshot has also always done 70 damage. So if we do some quick calculations, 35 plus 50 plus 70 is 155 damage. Now Tracer is 150 HP, so when Brig came out, she made Tracer, who is one of the best DPSs, a throw pick if they were versing a Brig. If there is a Masters, High Masters slash GM Brigida on the other team, and you're a professional level Overwatch League Tracer player, you're probably going to swap or else you're kind of throwing. Brig only had one repair pack back in the day, however, it gave out HP and armor. And in my opinion, the Brig repair pack back in the day was way better because it pretty much made anyone on your team that you gave it extremely tanky, which I feel like had more value than just having more healing than she does now. Brig's shield also had 600 HP compared to the 300 today, but the real OP part about Brig back in the day was her ultimate Rally. Rally used to give out 150 armor and on top of that last indefinitely, so we were left with these horrifying images. Brigida received multiple patches to be balanced, but unfortunately the damage had already been done. She had caused multiple pros to quit the game because of her. Brigida has actually slowly power creeped her way back up to high rank and is actually a pretty strong pick to this day. Which actually has some players worried that the old broken Brig could actually make a return. Sojourn. Now, when Sojourn came out in the beta for Overwatch 2, a lot of people thought, Hey, that's pretty good. Now, most people just assumed Sojourn would be nerfed because it was the beta, but unfortunately, they made it to the full game and, well, they dominated. Now, Sojourn's base numbers at this time were extremely deadly. First of all, her primary fire had no spread, as well as Disruptor Shot giving a 25% slow effect to enemies in it. Her Railgun's alt fire also had a 2x headshot multiplier, allowing her to hit 260 damage headshots at full charge. Mercy was unneeded for Sojourn back in the day, but if you added a Mercy Pocket on top of that 260 damage headshot, that would be a potential 338 damage headshot. Sojourn also had 8 seconds before losing charge on her alt fire. Railgun's all fire also had no damage fall off at this time, on top of having an extremely favorable hitbox back in the day. Sojourner at this time was the most complained about and requested character to be nerfed even above characters like Kiriko. 
Throughout Overwatch 2's history, Sojourn has received multiple nerfs and patches to be in tune with the game, and for the most part, Blizzard has achieved this, but she is still considered a very strong character under the right hands. Now, I know I haven't mentioned any tanks, and that's because every tank in Overwatch history has been dealt with in one patch, but I will list honorable mentions that definitely could have made the list if they survived more than one patch. Sigma at his launch, Roadhog Hook 1.0, and Zarya at the start of Overwatch 2 are probably my go-to tanks if I were to include them, but unfortunately, like I said, all these tanks got dealt with in just one patch. I am also not counting Kiriko because I am only taking into account characters that have been dealt with in Overwatch's history, and unfortunately, Kiriko is still broken to this day and have received lackluster nerfs in my opinion. So when Kiriko does receive a real nerfs, I will judge if she survived one patch or multiple patches. Now let me know if you agree or disagree with my list down below in the comments, or let me know if I missed someone that should have made this list that survived multiple patches in Overwatch's history. Now to everyone that watched my Yazan video, or even supported it, or even maybe even sent it to Yazan, I just want to thank you, because Yazan actually reacted to my video, and it is a blessing that I can never describe. Now I know I've already said thank you to you Yuzan and your community, but you guys are absolute legends. Cause that video was just meant to be like a fun video and you know, having your favorite player react to something that you just usually start out just making videos for your friends is something like I cannot describe at all. Oh my god. Yo, gosh. you got raided? Holy shit, Dude, yeah, got holy raided, shit. <laughs> you got raided by Yuzan. Dude, oh, actually nice, crazy Yuzan, bro. Yuzan, oh, you, got, you, 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 I need you to win the World Cup, bro. I'm rooting for you, bro. I said I was going to try to shoot for one to two day uploads in one of my videos. Unfortunately, I did not fulfill that promise. But what I will say is I will try to upload more regularly. And that's about it. So, as always, thank you for watching.